In this session, we are going to talk about the concept of relations, okay? Before we begin our study of relations, let us first understand what do we mean by a Cartesian product, okay? So my first topic is Cartesian product. So let us define what is a Cartesian product. We represent a Cartesian product by A cross B. It is known as Cartesian product of A and B and is represented like this. It is the set of ordered pair A comma B, okay, where A belongs to A and B belongs to B. Okay? So, if you have to write it in words, you are going to say that Cartesian product is set of ordered pairs A comma B such that A belongs to A and B belongs to B. Okay? So let us take an example and understand what exactly do we mean by this. Let us suppose that I have A as equal to A comma B. Okay? And I have B as equal to 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Now the Cartesian product of A and B in this case is going to be A cross B is equal to all the ordered pairs. Okay. Like this. We are going to have A comma 1. Okay. We are going to have A comma 2. Okay, we are going to have a comma 3. Okay, so we are going to have a and then we are going to associate it with 1, associate it with 2 and associate it with 3. Okay, after this is done, we are going to come to b and we are going to associate it with 1, with 2 and with 3. So, I am going to have other values like b comma 1, b comma 2, and the final value b comma 3 okay graphically you can represent this cartesian product as like this okay i'm going to represent a cross b okay and it is going to be something like this here you are going to have your a here you are going to have your b Okay, and from here, you are going to have your a comma 1, a comma 2, a comma 3. Okay, and in the similar fashion, you are going to have b comma 1, b comma 2, and p comma 3 okay this is your graphical representation of a cross b okay this is a cross b just understand one thing over here your a cross b is not equal to b cross a okay a cross b is not equal to b cross a why? Let us see what do we have in Cartesian product of B with A. Okay? Let us try to understand what is there in B cross A. Okay? B cross A is equal to... I am starting off with B. So, I am going to take 1 and I am going to associate it with B and I am going to associate it with A. Okay? So, what do I have? I have... 1 comma a I have 1 comma b okay then 